Hello, people. I am Javi Kowei. Joining me is Tanya Verafield. We are going to look at Drone, the official trailer, a Sean Bean thriller. Now, I have liked Sean Bean for a very long time, ever since I saw him in 007 GoldenEye. Then you see him again in Lord of the Rings, the first one, mm -hmm. and then in Game of Thrones, the first one. <laughs> Season one. I just think he's an awesome actor, and I even liked him in the Wachowskis movie, Jupiter Ascending. I just think he's an awesome actor. Anything he's in, even if it's like a B movie, whatever, I, I'll, I'll check it out. I think he's dope. I, I like Sean Bean. Hey. Tower one, Badger, are we clear to fire? Uh, affirmative, Badger. Three, two, one. Can I help you? I'm here to talk about buying the boat. Great. Amazing, amazing grace. Who am I? You seem like honest people. What do you do for a living? I am in IT, computers. How sweet. What is gonna happen? I'm kind of scared. <laughs> it's already <laughs> creepy. Karachi, where the Taliban are. Let's uh oh. oh. My wife. Right. And my teenage daughter was struck. By a missile. Like me. Uh -oh. Today's the anniversary of their deaths. Oh my god. Who fired the missile? The drone aircraft belonging to the CIA. Oh shit. Impact oh, yeah. in 10 seconds. Two, one. Uh, um. Shall I tell your wife and your son who you really are? Damn, I saw that coming from the very. Oh yeah. Do you want a confession? Not at all. Uh, no. It is out of bounds. Oh my god. Uh, Why are you doing this? The guilty should never be spared. Do you know how much high explosive is in my briefcase? Let them leave! Take it out of me! We also died in the hill. That's crazy. <clears throat> I could see what was happening from the very beginning. Uh, from the moment that dude showed up, you knew that something was off, that he yeah. had some kind of ulterior motive that was linked to some kind of revenge, given this profession that you know Sean Bean has in the film. It makes you think, the drone strikes are such a fucked up conversation, because the mm -hmm. thing about it is, the ultimate trajectory, the ultimate target is to get the villains of right, the world, right? right? But there are always innocent bystanders, and then those innocent bystanders have survivors, they're the people who are, they are survived by, and they want blood, they want revenge. Revenge just causes more revenge, and it's like this weird fucked up circle that just keeps mm -hmm. happening, where you're like, well you killed my such and such, and then an they're like, well, eye. yeah, and then, but you did this to me, but you did this to me, and it's like this back and forth thing, it just never stops. Can we imagine a world where everyone just puts the guns down, and we just stop? It's impossible, it feels like. I can imagine it, but yeah, no, it feels very unlikely and not in our lifetimes. It just shows perfectly why people can't do that. As a father and a husband, he's doing what he thinks he needs to do. From a production standpoint, what's great about this is that the movie is very high concept, but it's actually super low budget. Totally, like, I was thinking that too. Like it all takes place mostly at what it looks like these houses, this neighborhood where Sean Bean lives. It's this drama that just kind of takes place there. You see his profession and you you see the magnitude of what his decisions can lead to. Most of the drama is the consequence, the fallout thereafter of his decisions and the drama they're in. I, I like that a lot. I like this concept. I would watch this movie. You know? I totally would. And I love that other than Sean Bean, like I didn't really recognize anyone and I, I love films like that. Using a lot of unknowns. Yeah, it's easier to imagine. Yeah, to, to just get swept up in yeah, the story. Yeah, exactly. You know, the funniest thing is even Sean Bean looked a little bit unrecognizable. Like Agreed. he looks so different in this movie. It's a yeah. different film for him. I'm looking forward to this. I would check it out for sure. Yeah, me too. Even the trailer though, it makes you ask questions. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. well, who's right and who's wrong? What are you supposed to do when you're trying to stop someone from creating more terrorism on your home soil? How are you supposed to respond? If you remember when September 11th happened and, and we identified Osama bin Laden as the bad guy, we wanted blood. Like yeah. we wanted to go after him and we were willing to do anything to go after him. And then afterwards you're like, well, why were we in Iraq? No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. You know, and it's, it, it's so it's just this Ooh. weird thing where, I don't know, it's, you just, there's no good feelings. It's all mixed feelings. All mixed feelings. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Anyways, you guys, let us know what you think of the comments of this of this movie, how it made you feel. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out Tanya Verafield on the social media.
A quick shout out to Sosh. Sosh, thank you so much, Sosh. Or is it Sosh? Really appreciate you hanging out with us and contributing on Patreon and helping us do what we do here at the Jabby Kawai channel. And anyone else who's interested in contributing on Patreon, please go to patreon.com slash Otherwise, just, you know, keep hanging out. I'm Jabby Kawai. Peace out.